ES Audio. Hi, I'm Rochelle Travers, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, a study finds it really is all about that base. But first, you might have to pay to tweet. Twitter's so far staying silent on reports its new owners considering putting up a paywall across the platform. Website Platformer reports that a source familiar with the plans says they're considering allowing every user a set amount of time on the site each month and then having to pay for anything extra. It comes as the company says it's actually gained users since Musk took over as chief executive, despite the backlash against some of the changes announced so far under his reign. Archaeologists think they may have found Cleopatra's tomb at a site in Egypt. A tunnel carved in rock and considered to be a geometric miracle has been discovered 43 feet below an ancient temple. It's thought that it may lead to the long-lost burial site of Egypt's last pharaoh and her lover, Mark Antony. Nothing has been confirmed yet and further excavation needs to be done, but experts say if it is the tomb of the ancient queen, it would be the most important discovery of the 21st century. Now... A study has revealed that if you want to fill the dance floor, then it's all about the bass, and in particular, very low frequency bass. Researchers from McMaster University in Ontario conducted a small-scale experiment at a live concert. They concluded that people moved on average 11.8% more while low-frequency speakers were on, compared with when they were off. Those who took part in the experiment wore motion-sensing headbands to monitor their dance moves during an almost hour-long concert by electric music duo Orphix. The 43 participants also completed surveys before and after the event to measure concert enjoyment, how the music felt, and check if any change in sound was detectable. A drug could benefit women suffering from one of the most aggressive forms of breast cancer. NHS England has struck a commercial deal to offer a potentially life-saving drug, Prembrolizumab, to treat 1,600 patients in the country suffering from triple negative breast cancer. The risk of this type of cancer returning and spreading to other parts of the body in the first few years after treatment is typically higher, according to the charity Breast Cancer Now. But scientists say that for those taking the new drug, alongside chemotherapy before surgery, the likelihood that the cancer will disappear and the time before cancer returns increases. Netflix has announced a Gears of War live-action film and an adult animated series. It will be made in conjunction with the game's developer, The Coalition, and they say there's potential to add more stories. There's currently no filmmakers or producers attached to the project, and this attempt follows numerous efforts previously made by big studios to bring Gears of War to the big and small screens. With over 40 million copies sold across six installments, plus spin-offs, the franchise is considered one of gaming's richest sagas and has a huge fan base. Now, a homeless kitten has been found with no sex organs by an animal charity. Hope was originally thought to be a female cat when it was admitted to Cats Protection's rescue centre in Warrington, but vets found no external or internal sex organs. Vets said they've previously seen cats with male and female sex organs, even though they're also very rare, but this is the first they've seen with none. The charity added the 15-week-old feline was healthy and ready to be rehomed. Let's go to the ads. Coming up, Instagram influencer Hush Puppy is jailed for fraud and why we've all got air fryer fever. Whilst you're here, why not give us a rate and follow? Welcome back. There's been an exciting development when it comes to tackling untreatable high blood pressure. Researchers from Queen Mary University of London and colleagues at a US pharmaceutical firm examined whether patients would benefit from taking a drug called Baxtrostat. A clinical trial involving 248 patients found that those who took the drug were found to have significantly lower blood pressure after other traditional medicines had failed. The study has been published in the New England Journal of Medicine. 
The Nigerian Instagram influencer Hush Puppy has been jailed for 11 years in the US for his role in an international fraud syndicate. Hush Puppy real name Raymond Abbas flaunted his lifestyle online to his 2.8 million followers until his account was disabled. Abbas admitted to attempting to steal more than $1.1 million from someone who wanted to fund a new children's school in Qatar, and last year pleaded guilty to money laundering. He'll serve his sentence of 135 months in a federal prison. And finally, it's officially the year of the air fryer. Sales for the kitchen appliance have risen 3,000% since last year, according to figures, as consumers look to cut energy costs. Analysts believe consumers are responding to research that found air fryers to be significantly more cost-effective in terms of energy use, compared with conventional cookers and ovens. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader podcast from the Evening Standard. We'll be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.